slightly higher in New Hexaco. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that cannabis cover story, plus operating a lemonade stand without a permit. But first, story number one. Canadian man fills potholes and gets pot, coffee, and cash from grateful locals. Pot for filling potholes seems like a decent trade, says 22-year-old man from Nova Scotia, where the one and only Sloan are from. Joints, cash, coffee are just some of the ways drivers have thanked John McHugh for his work for several days, much to the dismay of authorities who have warned him to leave the job to the professionals. McHugh's been out with his snow shovel morning, moving gravel and filling ditches to patch up potholes along Westville Road. I did have the town police come along, the RCMP came, and the Department of Transportation came. They kind of threatened me with charges. Yep, I'm definitely getting a lot of tips. I had a couple of people give me some joints too, which isn't pretty nice. McHugh said he's starting out a new job out west in two months and said he'd like to use some of the money he's made filling in the potholes toward living expenses like food. And then goes on to say, I'm probably going to buy some weed with it. Not going to lie. That's a pretty good way to kick off your Good News Next Week episode 77. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, as I've noted for you. And that's not the first weed reference we'll make on this episode, dude, but it's just the first story. In our first segment of stories, this first one's sort of about, I suppose in some ways, kind of environmentally kind of things. That's the loose, you know, frame I'm hanging this on. Second story... My mother-in-law calls BS on. These eco-shoes are made with sargassum seaweed and plastic bottles. Guan, uh, Guanahanto companies developed a sole, a, a shoe sole, using seaweed while it uses PET, plastic, P-E-T, plastic, for the upper part of the shoe. Maybe lots of questions about where is this plastic coming from? Is it actually more gnarly to try and make something else out of it? A lot of questions about this. And again, we often say, as we've just said on the most recent New World Next Week episode, there's a reason we coined the phrase, not unmitigated good news. The third one in our first segment here, Los Angeles bans Monsanto's Roundup after latest jury ruling in cancer trial, which I believe the ruling part we probably have already reported for you on your Morning Monarchy episodes, your indispensable Morning Monarchies. Los Angeles County authorities have banned all use of notorious weed killer glyphosate, the herbicide better known by its Monsanto Bayer trade name Roundup, after a second court ruling linking it to a man's cancer. Now, we have actually noted that other cities have done this as well, but however, a lot of times they make it to just where you, John Q. Sucker, can't use it anymore, but they'll still spray the shit out of it all over your state-run locations, parks, schools, government buildings. Hey, maybe that's not such a bad idea. That's your first segment here on your Good News Next Week episode. Now I'm already dropping swear bombs, I suppose, in some ways. I've, I've strived to keep these Good News Next Week episodes mostly clean and safe for airplay, but let's face it, this is the media monarchy kingdom. Let's, let's be real. Our second segment of stories here on this Good News Next Week, lawmakers approve bill to allow children to run a lemonade stand without a permit. I referenced this on your most recent New World Next Week episode. Time to celebrate a tiny, tiny slice of freedom now that lawmakers have recently approved of a bill, approved of a bill, that allows children to make and sell lemonade without having to get a permit to do so. Anyone under the age of 18 in Colorado who wants to run a lemonade stand or another kid business, the bill supports their right to do so and prohibits local police from requiring that they obtain a permit or license for their operation. That bill, Senate Bill 103, or the Legalizing Minors Businesses Bill, states that the people running the business must be younger than 17, be in a residential neighborhood, and be at least 200 feet away from any other vendor that's selling drinks. If it pleases the Crown, your teenager can sell some lemonade, although I don't know that teenagers are running lemonade stands. Mm. Uh, our, our second part here in the second segment is a bit of an RIP. Arrested several times for feeding the hungry champion of the poor, Arnold Abbott dies at the age of 94. We talked about him on Good News Next Week episode, Sharing Food is Not a Crime. He fought the good fight down in Florida. R.I.P. Arnold Abbott. And again, the man might die, but the ideas all still live on. That's the real, that's the real power of it all. 
Last bit comes from our buddy Morgan Lesko. It was great to see them make an appearance in our live Media Monarchy chat. I point at something that you can't see. But the, the Media Monarchy chat stream is just right over here. MediaMonarchy.com slash join and you can be in with us. Our buddy Morgan Lesko at Wiki World Order recently joined us for a live stream episode taking part in the stream and the chat. He's taking part in something they've been working on for quite some time. Open Police Complaints has officially beta launched. It is essentially an app that lets you file police complaints anonymously. Again, yes, we're looking at Julian Assange getting arrested and looking at anonymity and real actual journalism, all these questions all swirling around. Open police complaints. Check out that new beta app for a way to, for, you know, people to be able to complain about their law enforcement officers without getting swatted or God knows what. <clears throat> Our third and final story here on your Good News Next Week episode 77 is our cannabis cover story getting slightly higher in New Hexaco. New Hexaco governor signs bill reducing marijuana penalties into law. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, and she is fresh into the office, signed a bill that allows people caught with up to half an ounce of cannabis to escape with only a penalty assessment, whatever that is, and a $50 fine. Senate Bill 323, sponsored by Senator Cervantes. He is a Pepsi from Las Cruces. Also confines punishment for amounts of cannabis between half an ounce and an ounce to a misdemeanor, a fine between $50 and $100, or no more than 50 days in a cage. The bill, which passed the House 4420, that's pretty good. And the Senate 30 to 8 fells well short of the full legalization many in the state had hoped for, yet signals a relaxation for New Hexaco's drug laws, and some see Governor Lujan Grisham as a welcome ally in the fight for looser cannabis regulations. The provisions of this law that I just talked about are set to go into effect on July 1st of this year. I support it! Holy Faith Mayor Alan Welber tells the Santa Fe Reporter upon hearing the news, Personally, I support legalizing regulating and taxing cannabis. I think it's going to happen, and I think the legislature took some initial steps at exploring it, and is ultimately blah, 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 blah. The new state law might not feel drastic within the city of Santa Fe, holy faith. However, where the cops have been instructed since 2014, actually, to treat small amounts of marijuana possession as the lowest law enforcement priority, city cops, however, had discretion to issue citations under state law, and a Santa Fe reporter investigation in 2016 showed that, indeed, they like to use that discretion. State law still criminalizes amounts above one ounce with a fine of $100 to $1,000 and possibly time in a cage for no more than one year. <sighs> Getting just very slightly higher down here in New Hexaco. The other bits here on our last slab of news here on this Good News Next Week episode, we head on over to Missouri, and I believe Chris McMillan, Media Monarchy member and tweeter who shared these stories, you can share some Good News Next Week stories with us using hashtag Good News Next Week, or of course you can always reach out to me, James, at MediaMonarchy.com. I believe our buddy Chris McMillan tweeted this and said, this could be good. Missouri State Senate passes bombshell. Bombshell. The walls are closing in. The, you know, the tide is turning. Bombshell. Law promising to disobey all federal gun control laws. As the Sentinel reports, Missouri just made a most monumental step towards freedom and individual liberty in a 23 to 10 vote by Missouri State Senate. The state passed a bill that would nullify all federal gun laws and regulations and make enforcement of those laws by federal officers within the state of Missouri a criminal offense. Weed, guns, what else do you need? Some Toonskis, of course, and some great news about one of my just favorite radio stations in the world. They might be one of the greatest radio stations in the world. Certainly one of the best jazz radio stations, at least in America. Some great news about KMHD. You probably heard me talk about them a lot when we lived back in Portland. And I actually still support them, still give them some monthly support. I, I send them some of the money you send me. I, I also give some to Soma FM as well. 
So basically, KMHD, this non-commercial jazz radio station that's been in Portland for a while, was run out of Mount Hood Community College. At some point, they made a deal with Oregon Public Broadcasting, and it actually made the station a little bit bigger and a lot bit better, because they had some money to pay some dudes, you know music nerds who are just passionate and ready and willing to get in there and have an awesome jazz radio station at their fingertips like my buddy Derek. So then suddenly out of the blue a month or two ago Mount Hood Community College said yeah we're gonna break the deal and take the station back under our control. Although we have no plans no real you know require it was basically gonna be a mess they were gonna take it back and it was maybe gonna fall apart. The, the puzzle done puzzled itself out. Apparently nothing's going to change. The Mount Hood Community College and Oregon Public Broadcasting kerfuffle has, has all worked itself out. So it's going to stay on the air. It'll keep on honking their jazz tube. So indeed, I do give some of the money you give us to support Media Monarchy. I give over to other non-commercial media outlets that I love and that enrich my life been making Media Monarchy for nearly 14 years, and it's tough sometimes, you know, to get emails from somebody who says, hey, I love your work, fan for a long time, I hate your beard, and I've never supported you at all. Jeez, you guys, I, I, I'd like to argue that my New World Next Week work alone would maybe be worth a dollar a month. And if you come over and check us out on the streams in the Media Monarchy community, you get a ton more. And I think you would definitely get your $5 a month's worth or whatever you are able to give. Again, the news and the music podcast will always be free. It's the things and the interactions and the live streams and the more exclusive content that's going to be in the Media Monarchy community. Been doing it for nearly 14 years. If you find value in independent, non-commercial alternative media such as your monarchy... I sure would appreciate your support, mediamonarchy.com slash join. In saying all of that, my friends, we will close this episode 77 of Good News Next Week. Indeed, I am James Evan Pilato, your radio sweetheart, saying thank you so much for watching and listening. And again, inviting you to join us and support us here in the Media Monarchy community and reminding you, as always, like Jellaby Offer says, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.